What up? It's your boy Soju here on behalf of the Straight Chillin' Podcast where we do weekly horror movie reviews. Today, I'm back with another video game review, this time for the Resident Evil 2 remake from earlier in this year, 2019. To start things off, I would recommend playing through this game. If you like zombies, if you like shooters, if you like survivor horror, then this game is definitely for you, but it is rated M for mature. It's got a ton of violence. It's got a ton of gore. It's got a ton of profanity, so it's not for the kids. But before I get too far into it, let's go ahead and drop that spoiler warning. Spoiler warning. As always, let's start off with the positives. This game has a ton of positives, and first and foremost, this game is legit scary. Um, the tension is real. Um, a zombie apocalypse that you have to survive, navigating through these really small, narrow, dark corridors um, is legit scary. So many times I screamed out loud or my blood was really pumping, my heart rate was up. Um, these zombies are your typical kind of slow but really hard to put down and swarming you type of zombies. A lot of the times you think you're safe, maybe you can see one of them and then maybe another one busts through the window or something happens and a door gets broken down and now there's more zombies and um, it, it just really feels authentic and its tension and its fear. It's not jump scares. It's not manufactured. Um, it does a really great job of that. And on top of that, you have a ton of variety in the creature designs, which I really appreciate. Um, the zombies themselves are done really well, but on top of that, you've got the classic Resident Evil liquors, which have their own challenges, uh, maybe trying to navigate without making any sound. Um, and that might sound easy enough, but when you're trying to get around these zombies and you can't shoot them, but they could see you and they're pursuing you um, and you're trying to get around them uh, because you're worried about the deadly liquors, um, coming after you has its own kind of tension and challenges. Um, of course, there's the classic tyrant, Mr. X, who um, is just completely unstoppable and adds even more tension to this horrific game um, where you're trying to solve puzzles or again just trying to navigate other enemies and situations and you just constantly have this unstoppable force hunting you down and to kind of go along with that another positive is the sound design in this game is incredible going back to mr x the tyrant um, you can hear him pursuing you throughout the building and his uh stomps get louder or quieter depending on where he is and then of course when he gets within this certain range he's got this music that just oh man it terrifies you to your core this game is so scary in so many different aspects and i really appreciate the variety of scares and horror that it can really bring to you when you're playing through this game um, one of the things that doesn't really have to do with the horror, but I just really appreciate as a mechanic, is the mapping system in this game is really great. For a game that is um, has a large area with a, um, a ton of different areas you have to kind of navigate through and solve puzzles in, um, the mapping system is great um, for showing you um, what locations have kind of been cleared out of, of items or of puzzles and um, kind of where you need to go back to and some of the doors and, and obstacles um, that you can see on there is, was a really great design and I really appreciated that. Um, the variety that they offer too and having the two different characters was pretty cool. Um, as soon as I was done with my first Leon playthrough I immediately wanted to go through and see what was different about the Claire playthrough. You get some different weapons, you get some different stories and so there is a lot of um, replayability to this game. I find myself um, continuing to want to come back to this because it also has different skill levels as well. So not only do you have your two different characters with their different storylines and different weapons, um, but then you can go through different challenges and, um, and modes within those characters as well. And so this game has a ton of playability to it, replayability to it, and kind of keeps me coming back for more. Um, so those are most of the positives. Some of the negatives... 
Um, even though talking about these two different characters and the variety that they do offer, I was hoping for a little bit more. When I play through my first Leon playthrough, um, you come across Claire and she's in these certain kind of situations and you're thinking to yourself, oh, you know, when I play through Claire, I'll be in those situations and kind of see how they play out on the other side. Where instead, in maybe the first 30% um, of the game, um, you're really kind of doing the same thing with the two different characters and they just flip the situation so instead of talking to Claire on the other side of the fence when you're playing Claire it's actually just Leon on, on the other side of the fence and you don't actually get to play through those situations that you see now they do eventually split and you do kind of get some unique storylines but ultimately you're still still dealing with a lot of the same kind of bosses and a lot of the same kind of areas and a lot of the same kind of puzzles and so I was a little disappointed in the variety between the two characters um, for a survival horror game it does take a lot of tact and it doesn't feel like you're invincible which is certainly a positive however too many times in this game, I felt like I needed to just run away from a situation. Either I felt like I didn't have the proper supplies to deal with the situation, or I was worried about conserving those supplies for a later time. So managing ammo and managing um, health items and things like that um, are a positive when it's generating the kind of genuine, uh, like horror, the genuine horror that you're kind of dealing with. But as far as playing through a video game, um, a lot of the times you don't want to feel like you're just running from a situation. You want to engage it. You want to find different ways in dealing with it. And as you get more used to the game, that kind of goes away a little bit, especially after my first playthrough where I realized, hey, maybe there's more ammo um, than I had realized because it seems really sparse at the beginning. But ultimately, um, I ended up with a ton of it. So um, but that is a little bit of a negative. Too many times feeling like you need to run away from a situation. This is another negative, and this kind of follows Resident Evil um, as, as far as I can remember in my personal experiences, but they always try to incorporate a ton of puzzles into their games as well. It's not just like a, a shooter game. They want you to kind of navigate the areas, and they, they kind of insert these puzzles into them where you kind of have to backtrack into certain areas and a lot of the times and not just this Resident Evil game but so many of them where the puzzles just feel kind of silly or kind of tedious and they've never really felt completely engaging to me um, and I understand that that's not the main aspect of the game I've just always um, kind of felt that about Resident Evil puzzles and it continued even into this game and it's not always the case but um, a lot of the times it just feels like I have to remember some random numbers or I have to do this weird kind of puzzle where you like make the picture or something like that and it just I don't know it just doesn't feel as good as some of the other games that incorporate that element into it and finally the last negative I will bring up is um, this game as a positive has some really great cinematic cutscenes. But as far as the characters that we're dealing with in this game, Leon and Claire, they are super stiff. Um, they're, you know, they don't have a whole lot of like flaws or anything like that. They're kind of like the perfect hero, always sacrificing themselves, always doing what's right. And so there's not a whole lot of like um, intriguing character development or any kind of character arc or anything like that. It's um, it's a little stiff in its delivery and um, in these characters that you're following along a Along with you just don't feel like they're real kind of people um, so that is a little bit of a negative for me but that's about all the negatives I had so let's go ahead and get into the final score overall I got to give this game a 4.5 out of 5 even though I had a ton of fun playing it it's just not quite perfect if you're interested I have a ton of gameplay right here on our YouTube page full Claire playthroughs and full Leon playthroughs also, if you're just interested in some more horror gameplay, you can check us out on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash straight chilling podcast. And I have a new game every month that I play through that's horror related. If you've played through this game, let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, until next time, everyone, please don't forget to keep chilling.